I think Wilder in this next fight with Tyson Fury is very, very dangerous. Very dangerous. I think he can win this fight. I think he can come in there and beat Tyson Fury. And I think that if Tyson Fury underestimates Wilder, then Wilder can knock this dude out early and fast. Man, um, you can't, you can't, you can't like a dangerous man. Wilder's very dangerous, man. He has a new trainer. I think, I think he left no stone unturned in this, in his preparation for this fight because I think this is more than just a fight for Wilder. Oh fuck. Sorry about that. I think this is more than just a, another fight for Deontay Wilder. You know, I think that Wilder needs to have all of his systems to go. All of my artillery. I gotta have all of my artillery. I gotta have all of my fucking systems to go. I gotta have everything. I gotta make sure there's no stone unturned in training. I gotta make sure that I've trained Harder than I have ever trained before in my entire fucking life. I gotta make sure that I trained like my life depend on it. Because it does depend on it. But man, uh, Wilder is very dangerous for this rematch. Extremely dangerous. A man with nothing to lose. Just training day and night and looking for revenge. Is a very dangerous opponent. You know what um, I think Wilder's in that mental space where... Shit, let me get some tissue. I think... <laughs> I think Wilder's in that mental space right now where... Block everything else out. Tyson Fury should be the thing you dream about. You should be thinking about Tyson Fury when you wake up in the morning. You should be thinking about Tyson Fury when you go to bed in the evening. You should be thinking about Tyson Fury when you're training and throwing those punches in the gym. You should be thinking about Tyson Fury when you're running 10, 20 miles in the rain. You should be thinking of Tyson Fury when you're doing your road work. You should be thinking of Tyson Fury when you're doing your fucking, when you're training on that bike and you're doing those uh, triathlons so that you can get your cardio up. I don't know if Wilder's training triathlons to try and make sure he lasts in the fight. But you gotta be thinking. Tyson Fury, that's the only thing you should, you should eat, sleep, and drink Tyson Fury for the whole training camp. And, you know, we're going to see the results of this training camp with his new trainer, you know, Malik Scott. And um, I definitely think that Wilder is all systems a go for this fight. No stone unturned, no excuses. It's like uh, Conor McGregor when he rematched Nate Diaz in the second fight. Conor left no stone unturned in training. I think he trained harder than he ever trained in his life before. Ever trained in his life, he did that. He showed up with a with a focus. He showed up with 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 a mentality that not this time, motherfucker. You ain't gonna take this title away from me this time. You are not gonna beat me today. Maybe you'll beat me tomorrow, but today you're not gonna beat me today. That's not gonna happen. And I think that's what Wilder needs to come into this fight with that type of energy. You gotta actually, and there's another thing. You gotta accept that you got knocked out in the last fight. Accept that you got beat by the better man. You know, that's the thing. Like, that's the thing. Acceptance is a very strong, strong, strong emotion. But how am I gonna move on from a fight that I don't believe that I lost? How am I gonna get better? I have to mentally accept that I got knocked out. I have to mentally accept that Fury was the better man. I'm training to beat this guy that beat me in the last fight. He knocked me out unconscious. He was levels above me. He dominated the fight. That's what I would be telling myself going into the third fight. He knocked me the fuck out. He was the better man. And that's just going to make me train even harder for the next fight. Grind even more. Just work. Work, 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 work. Like I've never worked before in my life. Like train like my life depends on it. Like someone's going to tell me that might be your last day on earth. The Tyson Fury fight. And then I win that fight and I can die happy because I've trained my ass off. I've trained all systems ago. I got to have all my artillery ready. I got to have all of my positions ready. I got to have my weight ready. I got to make sure my cardio is on point. I got to make sure I, 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 I'm in 
tunnel vision. I mean, this is this is a make or break fight. Wilder, this is more than just a fight. You know, if you guys really think that this is just a fight, just a boxing match, no, it's more than a boxing match. It's culture. It's culture. It's respect. It's 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 it's, it's regaining your energy back, getting your title back, Sophia. Every night. This ain't a game? You motherfuckers think this is a game? This is not a game, man. This is life or death, motherfuckers. This ain't a game. Like, nah, man. This ain't a game. Like, I, I mean, Wilder needs to know that this fight is a fight that you cannot lose. It's do or die. Kill or be killed. Kill or be... It's... This is it, man. This is it. This is the moment. This is the... Def like... I think that that loss that Wilder had in the second fight with Fury may have been the best thing that ever happened to Wilder. You know, turning your weakness into the strongest thing that you could ever have in your life. Look, imagine you're going into a math test and you have this little problem that you can't that you can't finish that you have a lot of doubt about. What you do is you sit down and you get that piece of paper and you write down that equation and you stare at that equation for 10 hours. You look at every solution. You think about every single way that you can find a way to figure out that equation. And you sit there and you try and figure it out until you're dreaming about that equation. Until you're fucking thinking about that equation every night that you go to bed and wake up every night. When you're having sex with your girlfriend, you should be thinking about that equation. So... When Tice, when Wilder is in the bedroom with Tyrese, he should be thinking about Tyson Fury. He should be thinking about Tyson Fury when he goes to the toilet. He should be thinking about. <laughs> hey, I know I'm going over the top, but like, I cannot stress how bad he needs to win this fight. You know, and I want him to win this fight because I feel like Tyson Fury talks a lot of shit and he has a bit of an arrogant persona. But you know, respect to Tyson Fury, man. The man is a competitor. You know, and he's one of the best heavyweights right now, if not the best heavyweight right now. And Wilder is like a caged animal. And he has nothing to lose. And and that's a very, very dangerous opponent. You know, um Can't wait for this fight. I truly cannot wait for this fight. I am truly excited for this fight. You know, that's that's one thing I can say, you know. Uh, I haven't ever been ex so this excited for a heavyweight fight. Since Mike Tyson, you know, um, that's just another thing. Like, that's the beauty of this sport. You know, uh, the beauty of boxing is just that, it's just that, you know, it's just such a beautiful sport. You know, uh, hit or, hit and not get hit. You know, it teaches a lot of discipline. It just teaches you that you have to be patient for things that you want in life. That, and that you have to be willing to work very hard for it. And I think Wilder has left, I gotta keep saying, I'm gonna keep saying this. He's left no stone unturned for this fight. There was restrictions for this fight. That's why he had a home gym. He created a home gym for himself so that he could make sure that he's ready for this fight. Wilder's ready for the fight. I think that's something that he's ready for. You know, um, make or break. This is a make or break for the fight for you, for Wilder. And Wilder has to do it for us. You know, he's doing it for the culture. He's doing it for us. He has to win this fight. This is a make or break fight. This is a do or die fight. This is a kill or be killed fight. I'm going to keep saying it. I said it before in the beginning of the video. It's a kill or be killed fight. It is. Absolutely, it's a kill or be killed fight. Well, actually, I could argue that every fight is. But this fight has even more on the line. Because of the bad blood. Because of the loaded gloves. Because of the cheating. Because of all the bullshit. Put all that to bed. Put all that to bed. Block all that out. Block everything else out. The only thing that you got to be thinking about is Tyson Fury. That's it. This noise over here. This noise over here. Forget about that. That shit don't matter. All that matters is Tyson Fury. That's it. Tyson. 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 Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury. That's all. <laughs> I mean, this is... I, 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 if he, and if he wins the fight... Oh my God! If he actually beats Tyson Fury and knocks him out, then he then 
Then the last fight is basically erased. It doesn't matter anymore. It's over with. The last fight, nobody cares. You're only as good as your last fight. And Tyson Fury even said that in his interview with MMA uh, with Ariel Helwani. He said that you're only as good as your last fight. Even though you knocked out all these other people, the only the only thing that people remember is Tyson Fury knocking out Deontay Wilder. And, and you know, um, that may have been the best thing that happened to him in his life. Getting knocked out in front of millions of people. 